let's see two way anova first of all assumptions of two way anova as in one way anova here also the dependent variable should be continuous that is measured at interval or ratio scale in dependent variables again should consist of two or more categories and all the groups must be independent observations also should be independent and groups also should be independent and the dependent variable is the dependent variable should be normally distributed so to run two way anova we have to import some libraries first import pandas as pd then import numpy as np and from scipy import stats also we will need stats models import stats model dot api as sm and from stats model dot api import ols this we will need for constructing anova table here i have already entered my data again when we are we are seeing two way anova there are two types one when there is only single observation for every combination of factors like here only one observation is there for a1 b1 here i have considered three different levels of factor a and three levels of factor b and for every combination of the levels of factor a and b there is only one observation here we can check how many observations are there by using pd dot cross tab so here you can see that there is only one observation for every combination of the different levels so the model that we have to consider here is function of factor a and factor b that we are doing in ols let's first fit this since we have to construct anova table therefore sm.stats.anova_lm of the model that already we have defined here and type 2 now now here we have the output as the two way anova table so the sources of variation factor a and factor b here in second column sum of squares are there degrees of freedom of the corresponding factors since there are three levels of factor a therefore two degrees of freedom for factor a and again three levels for factor b so here two degrees of freedom this is the f statistic for factor a and f statistic for factor b and in the last column this is the p value for factor a it is 0 0.000 which is much more less than 0 0.05 therefore there it indicates that there is significant difference in different levels of factor a whereas for factor b this level is much more greater than 0 0.05 indicating that there is no significant difference in the levels of factor b now since here this is rejected or there is significant difference in levels of factor a and somebody is interested in find out finding out exactly which levels differ significantly then again multiple comparison tests should be used here i have given the tuckey's test so for pairwise comparison so for that from stats models dot stats dot multicom import pairwise tuckey hsd and from stats models dot stats dot multicom import multi comparison and multiple comparison test with respect to factor a so here what we have to define is where the responses are given and with respect to which grouping variable we have to do the multiple comparisons then to get the results we have to give mc result dot summary so let's run this here we have as the output the multiple comparison table so group 1 first of all a1 level of group 1 and a2 level of group 2 and rejected is false means it is accepted means there is no significant difference in the effects of levels a1 and a2 whereas for a1 a3 and a2 a3 it is true 
means there is significant difference in levels A1, A3 and A2, A3. In this way we can interpret. Now here we have seen that there is only a single, there is only single observation for every treatment combination. Okay. Now if there are more than one observations per cell, then the model will be changed and that's why some changes accordingly, some changes will be there. So let me import the data first that already I have in Excel. So this is the data and you can see that there are there are more than one observations for the treatment combinations as A1B1, A1B1, A1B1. There are three observations. So in this way, I have taken three observations per cell that is for every combination of levels of factor A and B. Then there will be change in model. So model is equal to OLS. Now, since there are more observations per cell, so now we can test the interaction effect. So let's include it in the model. Uh, so the model is function of factor A, factor B and the interaction between factor A and factor B. And let's fit this model. Again, to get the ANOVA table, the command will be same. That is sm.stats.anova underscore lm model type 2. And here the ANOVA table is there with one more row than the previous one which is of interaction effect of factor A and factor B. So again in second column sum of squares are given degrees of freedom then F statistic here for factor A, factor B and for interaction effect. And the last column is of the P value from for factor A it is much more less than 0 0.05. So here it indicates that there is significant difference between different levels of factor A. For factor B also p value is less than 0 0.05 again which is 0 0.019. So again this hypothesis is also rejected means there is significant difference in different levels of factor B and interaction effect is 0 0.86 means there is no interaction or these factors A and B are independent. If somebody wants to do exactly which uh, levels differ significantly for, for factor A or B, then again the multiple comparison test should be conducted separately for factor A and for factor B also. Uh, factor A, if for factor B is required then just write down here factor B and here for running to ANOVA in Python what is required is the format should be like this that all levels of factor A in one column factor B in another column and all re and corresponding responses in one column. So in this way to ANOVA can be can be done easily.